everyone. Good morning and welcome back. All right, so this morning we are going to tackle a topic called heart work. Hmm. Um, in fact, I've done a whole series on heart work, but um, you'll find as you continue your journey, there's more to be done. So here we are doing some more. All right, so I noticed while I was watching a session from convention back in June, that there was a disconnect in my heart between what I felt the Lord calling me to do and what I thought I was able to do or could do or wanted to do. Anyway, the Lord said yes, and somewhere in my heart was saying no. Obviously, disconnect there. There's something not right. So what I did was I went to my prayer closet and I'm like, Lord, I need to dig up this no and whatever it's attached to and get it out because I don't want to say no when you are saying yes. Um, so that's the first thing I did was I prayed and I felt led to use my oils. Surprise. <laughs> um, which, of course, is no surprise because I usually do. But specifically, this collection called Divine Destiny, um, it's fairly new. It just came out and it's a little different in how you use it because normally um, collections, you use them all together, all at once. With this one, there's actually three oils in it and you use them together but separately. So you, the first one, the Daily Divine, you use for a whole week by itself. And then in week two, you still use the daily, whoop, I'm so sorry, my oils fell out. You still use the daily divine, but you layer in the I am blessed, the second one, that was right here. And then for the third week, you use daily divine, I am blessed, and then you add in I am creative. And you do that for three weeks. Anyway, so I started using this collection. And the very first day, um, a, I noticed I really love Daily Divine. It's a beautiful oil. But I also noticed the next morning I was writing in my journal and sure enough, some dirt came up. So it was some ugly things that should not have been there. Um, and what I was noticing was that somewhere in my heart, I was believing that I could not do this business that God has called me to do. I could not minister to people in the area of health because, dum dum dum, there was a lie in there that said that no one wants to listen to what you have to say because you're invisible. So you're not seen and you're not heard. So why are you even trying? And y'all, I've got a feeling I've had that lie in there for a very long time. So I'm glad we finally dug it up. It doesn't belong there, but it was there for a very long time and it has done some damage. It is not the truth. The truth is I am seen and I am heard. I have friends. I have lots of friends who see and hear me. I have a father in heaven who sees and hears me who gave me a platform because he has given me things to say so that I can minister to other people. So that lie was ugly and it was real. And now it's really gone because I asked and we did the work to pull it up. Now y'all, this is not comfortable. It's still not super comfortable to talk about, especially in a video but it's real and it's ugly and it's there. And we all have lies that get buried down in our heart that keep us from doing whatever calling we have on our lives. And that's just not right. So this is my thoughts, <laughs> my encouragement to you to check your heart if you really feel that the Lord is calling you to do something, check your heart and see if there are any blocks to doing whatever it is he has called you to do. Keep a journal. Keep a journal. Write it down. Um, that is what I had to do. And I kept that journal for weeks. 
And it's funny, I actually started this right before my life blew up. So I was keeping it a journal at a time when I really needed to keep a journal because life just went insane. And that's okay. Um, you know, I was wondering if there was any more to dig up. I haven't found anything else, but that was big enough. And that was huge. And it came up on day one. You know, I didn't have to go the full three weeks to find that lie. One day is all it took. But since then, I've been noticing that it's a lot easier for me to talk to people than it used to. I would second guess myself like nobody's business. I would go to send someone a message and then I would stop and delete it because, oh, that person is super busy. They don't want to hear from me. Or, oh, I had sent them a message before and they never responded or whatever it was. But I would hesitate and I would talk myself out of it. So of course I wasn't heard because I wasn't talking. I wasn't talking. And that brings me to <laughs> this one, One Voice. This is one I have been using a lot lately, uh, the last several weeks in conjunction with the Divine Destiny Trio. Um, this beautiful blend was actually made um, to help people speak up. So if you have trouble finding your voice, um, this, this would probably be a really good blend for you. I like to put it right over my voice box, actually. Um, but even if your voice is typing, you know, sending messages, whatever, whatever your communication block is, this is a beautiful oil. Mm -hmm. And I have found that it helps me. And I love the way it smells. And I love the story behind the label. It was actually created by a um, survivor of human trafficking because it reminded her of a beautiful rainbow over the rice paddies where she grew up. But it was part of her recovery journey was just creating this label that they ended up using for this oil. So, like I said, I, I love that. <clears throat> And I've also haha, been using another one, and this one is called Rise Above because we all have challenges that we do need to overcome, rise above. So I actually, I like to pour this one on the top of my head hmm. because, you know, head rising, pick up your head. I know I'm, sometimes I'm a little silly, but it works for me, and it's just... There are certain oils where it just feels right to apply them in a certain place. And for some reason, Rise Above just needs to be on the top of my head. So that's where it goes. But I have found that since I have started using all five of these oils in conjunction, not only have I dug up the dirt of that lie that I'm unseen and unheard, but I've also found it a lot easier to talk to people and to do what I am called to do. That hesitancy is much less. Uh, it's not gone yet. We're still working on that, but it is much less and it is a lot easier for me to do what it is I need to do. So I hope this encourages you. I hope that if you have any hesitation between doing what you feel the Lord has placed on your heart to do and somehow actually getting it done or being effective at it. Look in your heart and see if there's a block there. Ask the Lord to reveal it and dig it up. And don't be surprised if those roots come out with some dirt because we all know that when you dig up roots, you're going to pull dirt. But it's better that it comes out as ugly as it is than that it stays in there. All right, my friends, thank you so much for joining me this morning. I know this was kind of a personal one, but I don't mind sharing. As always, if you have comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below or to email me. I love hearing from you guys. And until next time, live well, my friends.